that repentance presents to us. It's a great opportunity to get out of a past that we regret. But what I want to talk about now is how the tables can be turned. What do I mean? Coming up very soon, this Saturday night, we're going to start a whole section called Slichos. What is Slichos? It's prayers that we add on to the regular davening that we do, the prayer of every day, and we usually do it early in the morning. The first one, it is customary to do late at night, at midnight, and we, supplications, it's praying to God. Now there's one section that is a refrain that constantly goes back and back to, and that is the 13 attributes. You'll notice it's where we say God's name twice. Hashem, Hashem. Kel Rachum Bechanu. And the commentaries all discuss what does this line mean? What does it mean, God, God? It's actually unusual. Typically, the Talmud tells us that it's actually inappropriate to say the verse Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad twice. Because it's almost like, I don't know what you're saying. You mean that there's two? I mean, what exactly does that mean? So why is it, what are we trying to convey with this God, God together? So if you look at the commentaries, Rashi explains in the Pasuk that, that this comes from an amazing, powerful idea. He says that I am God before you sin. And I'm the same exact God after you sin and you repented. What does this mean? This means that God is this means that God is telling us that even though you did what you did, but you regretted it, you plan on not doing it anymore, you admitted to it, guess what? It's as if it never happened. The relationship is identical to how it was before you even did anything. Let that sink in for a little bit. Let's think about that. Now, here's where the powerful lesson is. What The way it works is this. We know that there's a mitzvah in the Torah, there's a commandment to emulate God. The verse tells us, You need to follow in God's ways. Well, guess what? That's God's way. That after we repent, it becomes as if we never did it. Guess what? That's how we need to be to our fellow man. How many times somebody did something wrong to us? And of course, we always have our perspective, the way we see it. And of course, we're in the right and they're in the wrong. But if we were a little more objective, it's not always the case. But the person was man enough to own up to it and say, you know what? You were right. I regret what I did. I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? And what's our initial reaction? Sorry, pal. That's too little, too late. And the no, and you know what? The, re, the truth is, when you think about it, even if we're ready to say, all right, we'll let bygones be God, bygones, what it was, was, but it's still, it ain't the same. It won't be the same. We're not going to go back to the close relationship that we had before. This is the message of this God before and God after. It's exactly the same. That's how we need to be, too. Just imagine if all the people who have wronged us and want to repair their relationship, if we would let that happen and we make it in our relationship exactly as it was before, can you imagine how much it would enrich our relationships in general? and the world as a whole. May we have a merit, a great and blessed new year. <laughs>